got something in the wallet. In October 1999, the Blackburn Buddhist Centre invited Sangharachita to read a selection of his poems, ranging from his travels in India to his life here now in the West. One of the things I've found writing poems is that when you write a poem, you don't always realise what you've written. Because a lot goes into it, it seems, sometimes at least, of which you are not fully conscious. And it's only perhaps sometime afterwards that you realise what it is you really said in the poem. And I certainly found that a few <coughs> years ago in connection with this particular poem. It's quite a short poem. There's only four verses. And each verse has only three lines. But a few years ago, I gave a, a talk on this poem when I was in Berlin. <coughs> and uh, I, st I, I read out the poem verse by verse, and I gave a sort of running commentary on each verse. And I found that in the end, I'd actually given a pretty complete exposition of the Buddhist teaching which I, hadn't, I certainly hadn't thought of doing when I wrote this poem. I don't know whether you'll be able to see anything of that. Eh? And perhaps afterwards when you reflect on the poem a little, perhaps. But I, I'm just going to read it now. Hmm? And uh, if you like, you can just close your eyes and let the words sink in and see what happens. So, meditation. Here perpetual incense burns. The heart to meditation turns, and all delights and passions spurns. A thousand brilliant hues arise, more lovely than the evening skies, and pictures paint before our eyes. All the spirit's storm and stress is stilled into a nothingness, and healing powers descend and bless. Refreshed, we rise and turn again to mingle with this world of pain, as on roses falls the rain. <coughs> 